This video shows you how to disassemble the Compact Dynastar lubrication pump. It's one of two videos in a series that walks you through how to disassemble and assemble a CDS pump for maintenance purposes. The pump and pump lower need to be removed from the reservoir to disassemble the pump lower. Disconnect the power to the system. Also disconnect pump outlet connection to the lubrication system. Loosen and remove the four bolts holding the motor to the pump, then remove the motor and the O-ring. Loosen and remove the four bolts and four washers holding the pump to the tank with a 5 mm Allen wrench. Remove the tank and cover bolts to be able to remove the follower plate. You do not need to do this for number 2 grease, but for less viscous grease it will help keep the follower plate from sinking into the fluid grease. Removing the pressure relief valve cartridge allows easier access to the bolts and nuts holding the protective cover in place, and removing the protective cover allows access to the retaining nut, which needs to be loosened. Pull the lower section to separate from the gear head. Remove the tube and tube with a pipe wrench. Verify the o-ring is on the tube and tube. Push on the end of the pump rod to gain access to the cross hole located at the end of the shovel rod. Place an Allen wrench or similar tool through the slot of the shovel tube and into the exposed cross hole to keep the shovel rod steady. Loosen and remove the shovel piston with a 10 mm socket wrench. Place the pump tube into a vise protected by a cloth and tighten to steady the pump lower tube. Loosen the shovel tube using a pipe wrench and remove it from the pump lower tube. Remove the two backup rings and the O-ring from the shovel tube. Loosen and remove the pump lower tube with a pipe wrench and remove the o-ring from the pump lower tube. Remove the shuttle valve and the spacer. Remove the piston bushing and the two backup rings and the o-ring from the piston bushing.
Remove the shovel rod from the pump piston. Remove the pump piston from the pump rod. Note, remove the ball from the pump piston. Loosen and remove the extension tube from the top housing. Remove the backup ring and the O-ring. Pull out the pump rod. Remove the retaining nut located on the upper housing. Remove the bronze washer. Note, at times it may come out with the retaining nut. Remove the throat screw. Remove outer o-ring from the retaining nut. Remove inner o-ring from the retaining nut. Remove the throat seal. Remove the check valve and o-ring. Now that you know how to correctly disassemble a compact Dynastar, you are now ready to view the next video in the series on assembly.